Good evening everybody. Thank you very much for joining in. So welcome to the Christmas which is 25th December 2016 and we are making up a video here for you. Thank you for that. So this is part second of this video which is again we are covering the same topic which is forward rate agreement. Now in this I am going to tell you how forward rate agreements are to be computed and how they are, are uh, going to be calculated. Now forward rate agreements are, is having a little very technical in nature right. I already told you in the very first video that forward rate agreement has nothing to do with the forward contract. But unfortunately there is a perception in the market that it has everything to do with the forward contracts. Forward contract is all about currencies. On the other hand forward rate agreement is all about interest rate. But there is a term which we are using uh, in this forward rate agreement which we borrowed from forward contracts. And but that doesn't mean that with that doesn't mean that it has anything to do with the forward contracts. Now forward rate agreements are till 12 months. Of course the calendar is 12 months. One year, one month, two months, three months, four months, 12 months. Now the size of the board is very limited so I cannot write the 12 months. So I took the, the predominant months. But we don't say the 12 months. In forward rate agreement we don't say sir 12 months. We will use a little technical word like we use this. One month forward, two month forward, three month forward, six month forward and 12 month forward. What do you mean by one month forward? It means a certain amount of asset or a liability would enter in your book one month from now. What is two months forward? A certain amount of, uh, of, a, of, a, of an asset or a liability that will come in your book after two months. Similarly here after three months, after six months and after 12 months. We further divided this into, in, into the following specification which is 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 12. One month forward and one month means one into two. There are people who are getting confused. Now one into two means one into one plus one. Which means, which will start after one month for one month. Henceforth this is one plus two. Now let me take another example. One month forward for two months. One month forward for two months. This would be one plus, sorry, one into 1 plus 2, henceforth this is 1 into 3. Let me give 1 month for 12. This is equals to 1 into 1 plus 12. After 1 month for 12 months. So this is 1 into 12. 1 into 1 plus 12 which is 1 plus 13. We never write that 1 into 1 plus 12 because this is very difficult. So we always write 1 into 13. Similarly let's take here. 2 months forward for 6 months. It means 2 into which start for 6 months after 2 months. 2 plus 6 which is what? 2 plus 8. 2 months forward for 10 for, uh, for 9 months. Sorry this should be 11. This is our mistake. For 11. For 9 months which is 2 into 2 plus 9. And similarly let's take one example here. 3 months for 9 months. 3 into 3 plus 9, which is 12. Don't forget that the maximum tenor across the globe, Aussie dollar, Euro, GBP, Swiss franc, Japanese yen, Singapore dollar, Canadian dollar, your uh, Chinese yuan, your Indian rupee, you take any currency pairs. The maximum pair is 12 into 24. Henceforth, we mention here, max FRA is 12 into 24. It means that 12 into 12 plus 12 which is equals to 12 into 24. So across all currency pairs, across all currency pairs the maximum tenor of FRA can 12 into 12 plus 2 which is 12 into 24. Now here we are taking a small example of a forward rate agreement. We have taken an example of a Reliance Industries Limited again because we had earlier also taken an example of the Reliance Industries Limited and I think that in Indian context and in foreign context also when you are talking about interest rate derivative then Reliance Industries Limited Treasury is having a very good exposure of the interest rate derivative believe me and they are taking a good exposure and they have a very good exposure in overnight index swap and also in uh, FRA. You just name the instrument and they are having a very good instrument, uh, very good exposure. It's options, certificate of deposit, commercial paper, they are running their treasury like a hedge fund. It is always beautiful to have a Reliance Industries Limited in India at least uh, from a treasury point of view, strictly speaking. 
So, assuming Reliance Industries Limited is expecting to have a loan of 1 million GBP, uh, 1 million GBP after 3 months for 12 months. Now we know that Reliance Industries Limited wanted to have a loan after 3 months for 12 months, which is 3 into 3 plus 12 which is 3 into 15. This is the FRA they are looking for. Now Reliance knows very well that that uh, LIBOR is inching up. Federal Reserve sincerely interested in hiking the rate. Even if Federal Reserve is not interested in hiking the rate, Trump is before Federal Reserve that you have to have hike, you have to have hike the rate. So they anyways they have to hike the rate. As simple as that. Now, sitting today, the, the, the spread, the credit spread of Reliance Industries Limited is 50 basis point. I don't say that it is a credit spread, rather I will say this is a QSD, quality spread differential. So, this quality spread differential is 50 basis point. Now, sitting today, one year GBP LIBOR is 2.5%. Now, quality spread differential is 50 basis point. For Reliance, the net rate would be 2.5 plus 0.5, which is 3%, which is 3%. So, sitting today, Reliance Industries Limited will make up an agreement that they are entering up into the buy because this is a liability, this is not an asset. They are interesting in having a buy FRA. Let me write so that we don't uh, misguide ourselves. They are interesting in having buy FRA for a period of 3 months which is which is to be happen in 3 months for 12 months, uh, 12 months after this 3 months. Hence for 3 into 15. After 3 months, one year GBP LIBOR seriously went to 3.5%. So the projection of Reliance Industries Limited went through. It means that had they not, not taken this position, they would have at 3.5 plus 0.5 from where I got 0.5 which is here. Had they not taken the position, they would be at 4%. But now they have taken the position, they already hedged themselves at 3%. It means that the bank will compensate Reliance the difference between 4% minus 3% sorry 3.5% because uh, this is the LIBOR um, I am yeah 4% minus 3% divided by 3% into uh, N 365 and also N 365 I am not writing N because of course we are if taking for one year then this is 365 by 365 and then it would be 1 but why I referring this that because this is the present value. Because ideally that should be settled after 12 months. But Reliance Industries Limited is interested in settling today. So if they are interested in settling today then they would need uh, they need to accept the present value of today. So this is how you will calculate this. You might be asking a question why there is a need for that. When they are going to take the actual LIBOR the actual LIBOR will stand at 4%. They already has at 3%. The 1% additional cost which is hitting the debit side of the PNL would going to be compensated by the gain in the FRA on the credit side of the PNL. So a little bit compensation is there for the Reliance Industries Limited. And if you are thinking a question that how Reliance is going to hedge themselves for a future period because if the LIBOR is moving up then it would continue to move up. Of course, if, 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 if of course after that Reliance Industries Limited would have two options. Option number one, either they can create a strip of FRA, which we try and we'll make, we'll, we'll see whether we would be able to put uh, on YouTube or not because we are planning to have a Bosch game of that. They can create a strip of that. Example, how they can they can create a strip of that. Assuming it is a it is a quarterly payment. Assuming it is a quarterly payment, it's going to be three into fifteen, three into eighteen. 3 into 21 and 3 into 24 and then of course they need to increase this and this would this would continue or they can go to the euro dollar futures or they can create an interest rate swap which is principal only swap coupon only swap cross currency interest rate swaps so they would have all the three options but the point fra is making here is that before having that probable a certain liability which I already told you because majority of the financial instrument are, are dealt when the particular exposure is in the book. On the other hand, forward rate agreements are dealt when the exposure is yet to come in the books. So when it is yet to come in the books, 
you are able to save yourself because this 4% would come on the debit side of the PNL. The gain in the FRA would come in the credit side of the PNL. So a little bit compensation for you, right? Not little bit. In fact, a good good amount of compensation for you. And for a longer tenor, you can create the euro dollar stripping. You can go to the sorry. You can create the FRA stripping. You can go to the euro dollar outside, which is not deliverable forward market. Or you can create, you can hedge your swap, which is principal only swap, coupon only swap, and cross currency interest rate swap. This was from our side on forward rate agreement. And uh, you are most welcome to contact us 9899242978. Our alternate, my email ID is rahul.magan at the rate registryconsulting.in. My website is www.registryconsulting.in. I'm very pleased to share that. This startup has already been nominated in London by the British Mayor, Mr. Sadiq Khan. And we are, if everything goes well, we will travel to London in June 2017 to present our profile before the jury. We are currently nominated in the three international awards. We just eight months old and in eight months we got a nomination in the three international awards, which is a good thing. Also, we have our online academy. We are offering more than 17 to 18 courses on our online academy. You are most welcome to have that courses. This, these, these are highly, these are, we are offering our competitive rates and 100% practical. You know that when we are offering that thing, which is much better than what you have in the books and, and other trainers, to be honest, what would we will offer in our online academy? You are always welcome to contact us anytime. Our corporate presentation is out now. If you want the copy of our corporate presentation, simply write to me rahul.magan at the rate tragicalsetting.in. My alternate email IDs and everything is mentioned on the website. Just, just write to us, make a heading corporate presentation, we will make to you. We are really interested to have a partnership with you. Thank you and have a Merry Christmas.